who we found in town. It's Rosa. Yay. <laughs> It's been so great to meet you. We um we didn't meet at the family reunion over the summer because she was travelling. But now you're here. I really wish that you could meet Hero. She wants to travel out of New Zealand as well. So. Oh, where? Um, maybe to France. Oh, cool. And you were saying Europe as well, eh? Yeah, Europe. And maybe America and South America and Spain. I really want to go to Spain. You'll have so much fun, honestly. Go to India. Go to Vietnam. Ooh. Go to Venice. Okay. okay. So, um, this is Ben's room? Yeah, it's Ben's room. Yep. Should we be filming in here? Yeah, it's fine. He films in here all the time. It's fine. It's got a nice like set up and stuff, so it's fine. Yeah, we're fine. I don't think he's gonna be too happy about us being in here. He'll be fine. Okay, tell us the story. Okay, so this one time we were in Rome and we pretty much just stayed up all night. We went swimming in like seven different fountains and the police kept trying to catch us, but we had a really fast moped, so we kept up pacing them. And anyway, in one of the fountains, I found this really old ring and it was in um, like a little cloth bag and kind of hidden underneath some uh, coins and stuff. Oh my God, no. Yeah. And anyway, so we were like, this is really valuable. And my friend Vincent, well, I say friend, we met like a week before this. Anyway, he was like, we should sell it to a drug lord. And I was like, um, no, like that's a really bad idea. I don't want to get into that shit. I mean, it's not about the free drugs as well like my friend Seraphine she had like to deal with a lot of that kind of stuff as a child because of her stepfather and anyway so that was voted against and I was like why don't we just give the fucking thing to the police and they were all like oh my god you've got to be kidding me but I convinced them um but I kind of had like half like this worried feeling that like it wouldn't work out I don't know I just had like a like a gut feeling actually Beatrice that's a really good point you should always follow your gut when you're traveling like if something feels good then go for it but if you feel like it's going to be dodgy then get out of there yes this is great my mum keeps going on about traveler checks and insurance and stuff and i'm like ah i just like stop talking about it but anyway okay keep going okay so um we get to the police station there's like all these mangy cats everywhere but that's beside the point um so we go inside and i'm actually feeling quite brave and vincent's like quivering in the corner anyway so i go up to them i'm like we found this thing like is it valuable and the policeman goes and talks to his buddy and he comes back and he's like, you've been swimming in the fountain, haven't you? And this is all in Italian, by the way. And um, I was like, well, yeah, but look at this like sapphire encrusted ring, you dick. Like, anyway. So they were like super suspicious and um, were like, did you find it? We told them. And anyway, guess what? Turns out uh, the ring belonged to an old Italian family. The matriarch had just died and the seven children, um, they were all in like their 60s and 70s, um, they were sorting out her estate and the son, Giuseppe, he had stolen the ring, he'd made a copy and put it in a really obvious place, but um, the maid, she had found it and given it to the police. And so they bring it out and um, show me, and it's pretty much identical to my one, except mine had an um, inscription in Latin, it says something like, Guinness, I, oh, I can't remember, Anyway, it means something like family is forever. And yeah, so they take my ring away. What? Yeah, and I'm not even done. So I'm chilling out in Rome for a few more days, you know, eating gelato, having sex, exploring the city, like petting stray dogs, that kind of stuff. And um, I get a call from the police and they're like, we figured it all out. Uh, it turns out Giuseppe's daughter Alba had realized that he had stolen the ring. She had made a copy and put it in like this really obvious place. Um, it's because she was like really sick of the family drama. And so by us finding the ring and giving it to the police, we were just causing more drama. Apparently like Giuseppe's brother Marco was like murdered by this sister as well like I don't know if that's related but the family's real fucked up um, and so they gave me the fake um, so they didn't need it crazy eh um, yeah so I have it don't yeah don't know why <laughs> what the fuck Rosa that's an amazing story yeah, I don't know it's weird still have the ring well how's that weird it's just proof that this happened it's mm. awesome I don't know I'm not really into materialistic stuff how are you real <laughs> look I'm not doing this because you're flattering me Beatrice but I like you so um, do you want the ring? Oh my god. Oh, I think I'm in love. Thank you. <laughs> it's fine, it's not a big deal. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>